Hey guys, this is Sega Camp. This is PS3 RPG Fan 07 again, and we're gonna make a rant on Next Generation. Yeah, because oh boy, I don't like I don't like where this is going, man. You know, I I think this generation's not gonna be any different. I think it's gonna be it's gonna suck or it's gonna be worse. Yeah, a little bit worse. Like, like even as well though. What's him up for next gen for the PS4? It seems they're still using the same old graphical stuff I'm a, like the PS3 had. Like, I don't, I just don't see him where where next generation is going. It's still going to be the same. Oh yeah, I want to I want to mention about that. Um, I was in a chat with Mules. You know, you guys know me, who Mules is. Pretty sure most of you do. Um, if for all those who don't know, Mules is basically. A, uh, a technical uh, expert when it comes to consoles, and I'm pretty sure if he had the money and resources, he probably could tell you what's the best graphics chip for a PC. But anyway, um, he told me about the PS4 and the Xbox One, and they're basically using a CPU chip that's supposed to be used for gaming tablets. Yes. I am not fucking joking you. They're using a CPU that's used for gaming tablets. What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? Are you guys fucking kidding me? You're using a CPU chip that is used for fucking tablets? Like Oh yeah, that's that's just sad and pathetic. Okay, I can understand the Wii U almost ended up being a tablet controller, but serious now? Putting this in our next gen consoles, which is even still supposed to be like a game controller, but I know right away PS4 still has a touchscreen for like the for like the for like a little bit of the controller, but still, come on! Yeah, then it, then it would be a really big beast of a console, don't you think? It, it would be. And, you know, we would definitely see improvements in that thing. But, yeah. oh, no, we have, to use, we have to use a chip that's so that these third-party companies that bitched about uh, the PS3 architecture being too hard to develop for, oh, yeah, we have to, we have to appease to them now. Fuck you. Fuck you, Tony. Yeah, Fuck. and I still have to rant about the Xbox One and the PS4 still not having the backwards compatibility. I already mentioned about this in a rant, but still, what the fuck, you guys? At least for, I would see a reason to buy PS4 Day One if they had PS3 backwards compatibility, at least PS3. But since I'm not seeing anything about for any of these consoles, I see no reason to either get the to get the PS4 or even worse or Xbox One. I wouldn't even bother with Xbox One because I never did bother with them in the first place since they entered the competition. I was still into their PCs. But you know, uh, I just want to bring a, a point here uh, to these Xbox guys. If you guys didn't support Xbox Live, like if you guys didn't pay to play for online, you think Microsoft would have tried that fucking always online DRM bullshit? No. But no, you have to vote with your wallets, be stupid, and take it up the fucking ass. Exposed, bitches. Yeah. And besides, uh, I would... And besides, even the Wii now is even a even the Wii U doesn't even impress me one little bit. Like it's still being last gen console. I still want to get it though. If they didn't make a price cut. Although the only problem now is is now though they have to just uh, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Like at least though it still has backwards compatibility with Wii, which still keeps me thinking about buying it. But still, it's just. Very stupid that they have to have the price up at three hundred fifty dollars. It's just not worth that much money just to buy the damn console. And you know what the what Nintendo's solution was to making sure the console will sell? 
They just discontinued the white models. The eight gig, the eight gigabyte models are already gone. They took them off the shelf. They discontinued them. That's their only solution. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I know. That, that's seriously why I haven't supported Nintendo this generation. Because, to me, even back with the Nintendo Wii, I just felt like Nintendo just backstabbed me as a hardcore Nintendo fan. You know, like, let's not, let's not go into too much details, but let's just say the Wii, when it first launched, was atrocity. It had so much shovelware up its ass, I'm not fucking joking you. And it didn't start getting better until, like, what, 2008 to 2013? You know, like, come on, Nintendo, that's, that's, that's really pathetic. At least, at least the PlayStation 3 and Sony, they gave us so much games, man. And they're still gonna give us games with the, with the PS3 next year. I mean... Nintendo, like, why the, why in the world did you discontinue the Nintendo Wii? Like, you could have fucking still brought some more games. You know, like, I, I just don't understand that. And that's why I can't respect Nintendo. Yeah. And even as well, like, the only thing that's getting the Wii U hyped up for this year is just, maybe next year as well, is just the new Super Smash Brothers game. That's very sad. Yeah, I know. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that's going for them. And most of these games that the Wii U is getting, it's not until next year. So you guys basically have no games. You know, like what the fuck? Yeah. Remember how all of you people? Yeah. Remember you Nintendo gamers saying that the PS3 has no games? Guess what? Next year, you guys have no games. Actually, this year technically they don't have any games. <laughs> oh, even better. Well, then, you Nintendo fanboys, you fanboys have no games exposed. Yeah, and you know what? I want to say, I want to say something to all these Sony fans. I know it's gonna piss you guys off, but I don't give a fuck. Go ahead, come to my channel. Leave your little weepy. Yeah, just wah wah wah. But. But seriously, any 